planet Earth and to destroy Esau's kingdom. Okay? Let's get um, Isaiah 63. This is the prophecy. Okay? And I'm going to get back to the title of the video. Don't worry about it. I'm just making some points and, and showing you uh, the scriptures which backs up the points that I'm making. That's how we're supposed to teach this gospel. Okay? Isaiah 63 and 1, it says, Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Bozrah? That's talking about our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Bozrah, uh, it was a capital city in the land of Edom. The modern day Bozrah is America. America represents Bozrah, okay, which, is, which was a capital city in the land of Edom, right? And to this very day, you can Google the land of Edom. You, you can see rem uh, remnants of the land of Edom particularly uh, Petra. If you Google Edom, Petra, you'll see buildings that resemble, in Petra, that resemble the skyscrapers of today. Proving once again that those are the Edomites, man. That this so-called white man who's known for building these skyscrapers, that his line goes back to Esau, Edom. Okay, that's proof. You want proof of th that the Edomites still exist? Well, there you go. Okay? Google Petra, You'll see the buildings, all right, the caves that are made to look like skyscrapers, which proves that those are the Edomites, man, okay? They're doing the same thing today, building those skyscrapers like they built back during the time when they were in the land of Edom, okay? Anyway, who is this that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Bozrah? This is talking about the return of our Lord, the day of evil that the Bible spoke about. This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. That's the Hawashai and the so-called UFOs and the chariots. The so-called UFOs, which are the chariots, and the angels, which is what I meant to say. Yahawashai and the angels, because our Lord is coming back with many angels to wage war against Esau, Edom. Okay? Uh, like the prophecy says in the book of Revelation, there was war in heaven. You know, uh, as a matter of fact, let me just get it so I don't butcher it. Revelation 12 and 7. Let's get that. That prophecy hasn't happened yet. We're waiting for we're patiently waiting for it to happen. It is right here. Revelation 12 and 7. It says, and there was war in heaven. Because that's what Yahweh is coming back to do. He's coming back to wage war against Esau and their forces. That's why even Trump called for, it was in the news not too long ago, he called for a sixth military branch in outer space. Okay, uh, uh, you, uh, a six military branch in outer space, part of the military forces. You know, they got the Army, Air Force, Navy, Marines, right? So they wanted a, a military presence in outer space. Why? Because they know the prophecies. They know that our Lord and the angels are coming back. And they're going to come back through space. So they, they want to be ready to fight the Lord and the angels, which they're going to do, pursuant to... Uh, many scriptures pursuant to one scripture that comes to mind is in the Apocrypha where Esdras, Esdras, the man of the Lord, saw it in the vision. He saw Yahweh Shai and the angels battling Esau and their forces and Esau miserably, miserably lost. Let me say that again. Esau miserably lost. Okay? <laughs> so this is what we're reading about here, Revelation 12 and 7. There was war in heaven. Michael and his angels, Michael, because pursuant to the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter, Michael the archangel is coming back with Yahweh Shai. So those two are going to ride together, along with all the other angels. And Michael is the archangel of war. That's all he's about, war. So Esau being a man of war, war is going to be brought to them, man. In a big way, in a big fashion. Okay? Michael, the archangel of war, man. <laughs> and I pray that Yahweh Shemir Shai allow me to be alive to see it, man. I want to see it, man. Okay? And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels. The dragon is talking about Esau and his other forces, the other nations, their military. They're going to go head up, man. This is what Apostle John on the island of Patmos is seeing. And he records it in Revelation, the 12th chapter. Now let's keep reading. It says, and prevail not. So Esau is not going to win. They're, the battle between Esau and their forces and Yahweh Shai and the angels, come on, man. That's hands down. The angels, Yahweh Shai and the angels are coming with a power that the world has never seen before. Okay? Even in the, the so-called UFO stories, and I said so-called UFO because they're not UFOs. They're the chariots of the 
Lord. You know, the so-called white man in, in his ignorance, well, the lower level peons, the top elites know exactly what they are, but the lower level peons call it, the lower level peons call it UFOs, which is an acronym for unidentified flying object. They should be called IFOs, because according to the Bible, they are, I, they are identifiable. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta breathe to say that, that phrase. They are identifiable. There you go. According to the scriptures, they are the chariots of the Lord. Second Kings two and twelve. Okay. So uh, let's keep reading. It says, "And prevail not." So they're not going to win. They're going to lose. Now the point I was going to make is I, I, the point that kind of slipped me. Uh, even in the uh, news reports of the so-called UFOs, uh, the chariots of the Lord. Um, uh, they said that uh, the technology that those beings have is light years above our technology, to roughly paraphrase what they said. So that that uh, echoes my point, that the power that Yahweh Shai and the angels are coming with is, is out of this world. And Esau will not be able to put it off. Okay, he's going to lose. That's why the next verse, the eighth verse says, and prevail not neither was their place found anymore in heaven. Meaning what? Rulership. It's because they're in rulership right now. So after that great battle between Yahweh Shai and the angels, Esau is going to be out of rulership. As a matter of fact, I have to bring this, my favorite scripture. I got to bring it out. Okay? First Corinthians, what is that? 15 and 23. I love reading the scripture because it's so explicit. It gets, it gets right to the point. First Corinthians 15 and 23, let's start there. But every man in his own order, Yahweh Shai, the first fruits, which is another title for the elect, right? The first fruits. And I've done videos about the term, the first fruits, going into it, what, what that actually means, right? Yahweh Shai, the first fruits, afterward they that are Yahweh Shai's at his coming. There you go. Which are the elect, pursuant to Matthew 24th chapter. Okay, let's keep reading. Then cometh the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to the heavenly father. That's why there was war in heaven. Okay? Yahweh is coming to deliver the kingdom to the father. Which means we all gotta go. Okay? <laughs> then, then cometh the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to the most high, even the father, which his name is Yahweh, when he shall have put down all rule, all authority, and power. Let me read that again. Then cometh the end, the end of Esau's world, his society, his system, right? When he shall have delivered up the kingdom to the heavenly father. Who's going to do this? Yahweh Shai and the